this check. What's good everybody? Doing something a little different today for Hood Code. Cause I know on the show our jokes are pretty raw. We don't really have a filter, you know, but I wanna let you guys know that it's more than just jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like we the cast, we actually care about the communities we live in. It's not just we're not just here to just be funny for the sake of being funny. The jokes we tell are for entertainment. But at the end of the day, we do recognize that we have some real problems going on in our, in our neighborhoods, in our communities. You know, I live on the east side of Buffalo, and it's one of the most crime-riddled districts, you know, in the area. I actually attended an anti-violence rally, you know. They had a couple of guest speakers come out. They had a dance contest for the kids. Everything went really well, you know. But there weren't a lot of people my age there. A lot of them were adults bringing kids to the event. But... There's no one really between the ages of, say, 13 and 20 something without having kids. So they're having a dance contest for the kids and they played Hot Nigga. Bobby Schmurner, Hot Nigga, you know, caught a body by the week ago. Yeah, that one. Uh, they played that twice. And I talked to the DJ. I'm like, yo, this song is about shooting people, drug dealing, and all that. I know most of it was cut out, it wasn't unedited, but the point remains. And the dude was, he was, he was an older guy. He didn't really know what the song was. They, they just said, play that, and he played it. So everybody's dancing to it, having a good time and all that. I'm just like, really? This is an anti-violence rally, and you guys are dancing to Hot Nigger, where the main words are, I caught a body about a week ago. It's completely contradictory to what the event was about. So I get on the mic, and by then a lot of people were dispersing, you know, but the point was, how can we expect to take things to the next level? How can we expect to make a change when we're still supporting, you know, music like that? And people underestimate the power of music. They don't understand how much it impacts the mental, uh, how much it impacts you know people's minds subconsciously you know you can listen to violent music all day it might not make you a violent person but I mean you probably have some type of uh, initiative of negativity it, it promotes negativity even though we're just dancing to that music I, I think it still makes a strong impact on you know what our belief systems are so is it okay to dance to that type of music if it's just for entertainment I don't think so, because there's a kid listening to it thinking that it's okay that people catch bodies and that's cool and that's dope or whatever. The kid ran up to me while I was speaking and he said it's not just about catching bodies and killing it, it's also about getting as many bodies as far as girls go or whatever. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's, it's, it's negative. And the fact that that skipped everybody else's mind is just perplexing to me because they're all there for the same reason, but nobody notices that <laughs> This song that they're playing is completely opposite of what their mission is. That song was number one on the radio last year. Number one. So the only way we can get to a number one spot is <laughs> talking about killing people, talking about drug dealing and keeping holes and all types of shit like that. I, I don't get it. I think that's why we're looked on in such a negative manner. <laughs> we're not even, we don't understand how this music is impacting us. So. If that's like the number one song on the radio, they're playing it every other day. Every other day they're hearing that, they're hearing it, they're hearing it, and that repetition, you know, makes them feel like they can do the same thing and be hot about it. It's, I don't get it. I really don't get it. And the people in charge of the media, in charge of the radio, they know that. They know that song is negative as hell, but they still play it over and over and over again. And then... Don't be surprised when you play that music in a club and then someone gets shot or somebody gets into a fight over it. Come on now, yeah, we all we all have to think better. We all have to make better music choices. Not saying that you know, there every music has its place. 
even they like the gangster rap, okay, gangster can listen to it or whatever, but we gotta think about how many people are listening in. And that type of life isn't gonna fit to everybody. Really, what I'm saying is be the change you guys wanna be. Be the change you wanna be. You can't expect different results if you are doing the same thing over and over again. You know, if, if music like that comes on, we should be able to speak out against it. Don't support shit like that. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. Don't get it twisted. You know, I, I, I dance to that song. You know, when it pops off in the radio, or when it, when it's on at a club or whatever. But deep down, I'm thinking like, these aren't, these don't really reflect my ideals. So why am I dancing to it? And we all need to be able to ask that question, because everybody says kids soak things up like a sponge, and that's true. So they're walking around listening to this song, thinking that shit like that is okay. And then the parents are okay with it. They're in charge of you know, what gets to their kid. Whether they hear it at school, as parents, they need to be able to sit the child down and tell them that this is wrong. Even though it's entertainment, it's still negative. And the impact, of movie, of the impact can be much deeper than just the entertainment. But anyway, guys. That's that's hood cult. That's real cult for you guys. We keep it real here. Uh, we'll be going to other community events in the future as well. Don't get it twisted. You know, we actually care about our communities. So keep watching the show. Don't take it to heart too bad because I know we have some raw jokes. But, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, we still give a damn. That's hood cult.